whisperings. He is what you can hear, yet not hear, what you can see, yet glimpse in dim reflections, what you can deeply comprehend, yet still be puzzled to the utmost. She is the whisperings behind the sad thoughts, the thoughts that lounge around like the overdue guest resting under the quiet blanket. He is known in the loneliness of the lover, aching for his passionate partner. She is the whisperings in the ashy snow that powders the sleeping fields, the misty whiteness that numbs the gaunt, slender, intimidating trees, the swirling silhouettes that are the arching, menacing watchdogs to infinity's shores. He is the silence that occasionally grasps us, occasionally frightens us, the eternal whisperings, the quietness that is louder than any of the flashing sounds of today. The paper and you were one. Yeah? The only thing wrong with the paper, in order to have paper, you have to chop down trees. I think I've gotten over that guilt. But other than that, it's, it's brilliant and it's good for you. And it's good for the world. I'd much rather than teach people to write and shoot guns.